Ishak, um, on October the 20th, I raised with you the uh, issue of the student nurses and the fact that they are working during a pandemic where they can't do other jobs uh, for the most part, uh, certainly in other healthcare settings, uh, where they're working long hours on the front line of the COVID effort and not being paid at all in an absolutely scandalous situation. In that engagement, you actually, because you obviously weren't scripted on it, uh, said that uh, it was wrong, that they weren't being paid in the same way as they were in March and April, and that you were going to follow up on it. Uh, since then, it is clear that the follow-up is that you're not going to pay them. Uh, now, I just want to tell you there is fury. Uh, a quarter of a million people have watched the video of that uh, exchange between yourself and myself. Uh, 120,000 have watched the exchange on the same issue between myself and uh, Stephen Donnelly, and I am inundated. I want to apologise to the student nurses. I've, I've got so many messages from them, I can't reply individually. But I'll just give you a flavour of the sort of thing I'm getting. Uh, one nurse who worked six weeks on placement, second year nurse, four days a week uh, in the rotunda, 7.30 to 4. She also had a job in retail at the weekend, uh, being paid absolutely nothing, two weeks in a gynaecology ward, 7.30 to 8.30 uh, p.m., not paid a penny. And then she points out, for the privilege of working for nothing on the front line in COVID, she has to pay €3,000 a semester. So she not only doesn't get paid for being on the front line in a pandemic, she pays for the privilege, as do all these other you, student Deputy. nurses. Thank it is you, an Deputy. absolute scandal, Taoiseach. Now, are you going to pay these student nurses who are holding together the front line when, uh, according to Paul Reid, 2,000 healthcare workers, mostly nurses and midwives, are out sick uh, as a result of COVID, and we are relying on them more than ever uh, in the battle against this pandemic. Very quickly, um, in terms of the, just on the student nurses um, issue, uh, I think it has to be the, as you know, those discussions are on the way, Deputy, uh, and have been for quite some time. Uh, government priorities to protect and support the education of all students, including student nurses and midwives. Um, and we do recognise the impacts of COVID-19 on student nurse midwife placements. Uh, and there have, the government, or the Minister for Health is currently considering proposals for a revision of the existing student nurse midwife allowances for clinical placements in the short term to support their ongoing clinical training. Um, and in addition, uh, the, there has been discussions between uh, the INMO um, and the HSE uh, on this. Uh, what happened on the last occasion uh, was that about 41 million was provided um, in terms of payments um, at the time uh, and the, you, the arrangement was in terms of the um, special care allowance or sorry, the health care assessment, sorry, temp the temporary health care assessment, April 20th, in order to support the response to COVID-19, a decision was taken to suspend to suspend, just hold on a second and listen now to suspend clinical placements for all students and then to offer all undergraduate nurses and midwives a temporary health care assessment contract. At the same time, the salary level for fourth year internship students was uplifted to the HCA um, rate. Now, the cost of that was about 41 um, million. Uh, and, and that worked um, on, on, on that occasion. Uh, the situation, by the way, is much different now um, in terms of the, the, the impact um, of, of COVID itself. Uh, like in April, there was about 900 patients with COVID-19 in hospitals. As of November the 8th, that figure was 285. Um, and I saw so there is a different level of intensity in the hospitals in relation to COVID. But I would hope that the current discussions, people are looking for different um, rates now than what was agreed in April, it seems, from, from, my, from, my, from hearing back from the negotiations. Uh, and I would say that I want those negotiations to be brought to a conclusion as quickly as possible and that we protect also the clinical placements um, for students. 